welcome to this episode of the GIFs Flower Hour. We hope that you enjoy the show and that you'll come back and visit us next time. Bonjour Johannesburg. Last year it was a great pleasure to discover with all my family your wonderful country. Naturally Joburg, but also the Kruger National Park and, and also Capton. It was a huge uh, trip for me and uh, my first visit to your country. And uh, we really expect to be with you uh, this year for the second edition of this amazing Johannesburg International Flower Show. But unfortunately, the COVID decided to delay a little bit uh, this show. Uh, but anyway, we are here in France. Uh, it's what's in the autumn actually in France. It's quite a bit cold. This morning it was 7, uh, actually just around 12 or 13. But uh, I just want to share uh, a small recipe with edible plants, edible flowers, edible leaves, some rare plants, some plants from South Africa. And uh, I just want to bring you on my world, uh, on my home and on my cuisine. So follow me for this little recipe and uh, you will see it's absolutely incredible. So, I'm quite ready to prepare this really simple recipe. So, the basic is not to use any vinaigrettes, but you can use uh, olive oil if you want. I use no oil, no vinegar, and just the raw plants. So, first, um, I use this kind of like for yogurt, uh, plastic uh, things, and we have to uh, check a bit the flower first and after uh, the leaves. I use many, many interesting plants, like this wonderful marigold. Uh, this is quite very interesting. Marigold. I have another marigold here. This is the last day for the, for the marigold because we probably expect some frost next week. So I just take the petals. And I can use also this calendula. It's a nice plant. I love also, I don't know if you have these plants in uh, South Africa, but I love begonia. Begonia, they have an acid uh, taste, very interesting also. And some foxia. Foxia are really interesting. I just prepare two pots. Salvia also. Salvia, all the salvia leaves and the salvia flowers are edible. So I put it here. Another varieties of salvia, some borago. The borago is really interesting because they have a, like a fish uh, uh, sea uh, taste. Also, uh, some coriander leaf. Not this is not coriander leaves. Coriander uh, flowers. Just interesting. And I think that's all for here. For the flower, for the leaves now, I will use uh, many plants. I will use the uh, Achillea. Interesting. You have to take more the young leaves. This is also the leaf of the marigold. Interesting because you have a like a citrus smell. Very, very also interesting. Oh, this plant is absolutely amazing. This is, we call it in France, the oyster plant, the Mertensia maritima. When you eat it, it's like you can eat an oyster. It's absolutely incredible. I'm sure that you can find it, the flowers are also edible. You can find it someplace in South Africa. This is another interesting plant. This is a purple leaves, uh, Sichuan pepper. This plant is quite very interesting. This is an oxalis. And uh, Leon Klug told me that you have in the South Africa many oxalis interesting. This is a South American one. Uh, and it's really, really interesting because when you eat it, it's uh, like a bit acid and it's interesting for a salad. So I put some flowers. Okay. 
also this little kind of spinach. Let me put it here. Also this nasturtium. Twisting with a taste like a pepper. Another achillea. Here I have approximately uh, 25 or 26 different plants. Uh, during the season in uh, summer I can have 50, 60 plants on the plates, it's really amazing. Okay, and I put it here and here. Basil, basil leaves and the basil uh, flowers are very very interesting. And this plant, I'm sure that you know it, we call it the shiso. The shiso we can find it on the Japanese cuisine. It's really really interesting for the smell and for the taste, the taste of the leaves, but also the taste of uh, the flower. Maybe a few more things to put on the plate. Oh, you know, something very important you have to take care. All the plants are not edible, so you have to be sure before to put it on the dishes to be sure that the plants, you can eat the plants. We have we had some problems in France uh, sometimes that people try to eat many plants but they are not really edible. So you have to take care. Okay. So I think we are you know, maybe some coriander leaves. They are really fresh here. And I will finish with one of your best plants. This is the pelargonium. Oh, this is a small leaves pelargonium. The pelargonium are interesting, the small leaves but also the flower. So, uh, all the pelargoniums are edibles. You can just take the young shoots and the leaves and the flowers. Okay. So, now we are quite ready. Just one more. Okay. So, you need to have a plate, find a, a nice plate. And if you want, if you, this is the first time with edible plants, edible flowers, you can put some olive oils. I do not use that. I will use uh, like a tomato cream. It's like a tomato, uh, but like a syrup. I just prepare it, it's a bit long, but I just prepare it before uh, filming. But if you have no this tomato cream, you can also use ketchup or whatever you want. No mayonnaise, no mayonnaise. So just... Okay, and I just prepared some beetroot, so they are interesting, also they are a bit sweet, and you have to put it on the plate, it's like a pinter palette, you are like a pinter, uh, a chef sure, but also a pinter, just put it like that, and just design a nice plate. Naturally, this is just for you, but if you have some guests, you can put many things and other plates. Just put some salt, uh, with, for, for example, with sesame here. It's flour salt. Again, if you do not want to use the salt, it's not a problem. Okay, for now, just put your small cap and you put it like that or just to arrange a bit second stage of the leaves When you know a bit more about the plants, you can you have a one color plates or a two color plates. It's really amazing if it's just green or purple or red. And then the flower. And all the plants, all the flowers have different taste. So you will, when you eat, you have to mix everything and you will have a, a huge uh, taste on your mouth. Okay, and the last one is like for a floral 
kaleidoscope. Okay, so we just finish now. To finish the things here, there is two more coriander on the plate, so I put one here. And the other one here. So it's quite ready. If you want, you can put just a small uh, coffee spoon of olive oil, but you can eat raw like that. You will have the perfume, for example, of the marigold with the, per the, uh, the taste of begonia and so on, and it will be a huge symphony in your mouth. So I really hope next year to can show you this kind of thing live for the second edition of the Johannesburg International Flower Show. Before that, take care, enjoy the life, enjoy the garden, and see you soon on your wonderful country. Bye-bye, au revoir.